Okay. Um, Wolf is um, trying to get the right camera. Okay. He successfully did it. Entonces estamos acá. Y Orca se está en la portería de molde, o sea, quiere atacar pues, seguramente desde el principio. Eh, uno de los jugadores ha perdido una de las aletas, qué pena, justo en una situación de ataque. En eh, molde eh, está tratando de salir, pero los chicos de Orca la verdad que no les quieren dar eh, cabida, no les quieren dar lugar y es como una pared colombiana ahí que no, que no quieres darle eh, cabida. How did it sound? We had problems with the technic, uh, technical guy who had to go to the toilet and he wasn't watching the game. He didn't know it started already. So uh, 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 Orcas are attacking Molde here, I see. Uh, um. And Molde had recovered the ball a few times. He was trying to, fla to, to leave their area, but uh, Orcas uh, was doing a very strong for checking and uh, we are still at the corner. Uh, of Molde and, and Orgas is trying to build up a kind of wave, a, a kind of a, um, attack with not a lot of physical contact. They're trying to swim wow. and move fast. Super much movement here from both teams, but especially the Orcas are trying. This is a dangerous move from the Orca player. He went in and, and tried very long to push into the defense of uh, Molde. They have so much air. I mean, don't rem remember, they have a high training kind of uh, that oh, they, that, that they lost the ball Orcas uh, lost the ball and uh, I don't see if it was outside the area probably they're fighting somewhere in the oh one of the Orca players uh, stole the basket stole away the basket. and they have a lot of air so this could be a chance and there's even another the Orca player coming it's two Orca players here we come from the open side so this is a chance for the first scoring and they're Mom going McCall in from the close side the stress the out in in it wants to take position is trying to get into position and the orca plays still but uh, orca um lost the ball that was a great chance uh, it's, a, it's a pity uh, it's two and a half minutes into a the first half and uh, it's a pity for orca it's a great for molde that they could stop that attack yeah that was really well played by molde uh, to prevent uh, the 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 attackers going through to the one stealing the basket away. We are now on the surface. Oh, there's a call from the referee. Let us hear. Wide free throw. It's a free throw for Molde. And it's a dangerous moment now in this beginning. So we see the first attack from Molde on the, the basket of the Orcas. Let's see what happens now. A ver, están los chicos de Orca ahora defendiendo, tratando de recuperar el balón, tratando de salir de ahí del área y los chicos de Molde casi interceptan ese pase, están bloqueando todas las posibles salidas, saben lo peligroso que eh, es estar en su área, entonces bueno, mm, están aquí peleando surface, en el medio. Cluster. Call from the referee. 20, two minutes, hitting. Two minutes. Minutes. For hitting, uh, uh, one of the Molde players play. has a time penalty. Three number three 20 three. is out. Who is number 20? Who is number 20? Molde. Time out white. Time out white. Time out white. Mm. Number 20. Uh, yes, Jasmine. Gee, Jasmine uh, couldn't. Uh, well, okay. We'll think, but it's not a. But if Oh, yes. he's, he's not a Jasmine. Jasmine is a girl name. No. Not exactly. So let's go back to game. We have. Okay. You're still not allowed to hit him. Okay? Well, the referee told the Molde player you're not allowed but to hit still another. You're not allowed to hit him. You are <laughs> the referee you're is telling you. Aren't. <laughs> That's the true. Molde player is discussing and the referee but is I didn't. just e explaining. You did hit him. Well. Okay, Molde player is out two minutes. Uh, Molde has uh, to rearrange uh, their uh, uh, their system, and they seem to have a hard time uh, replacing uh, the the missing player because it takes them uh, quite a while. And uh, the Orcas are waiting for the time to counting down at six seconds, five seconds, and this is a big chance now for Molde, for the Orcas 
to score. Uh, but Molde will have a plan installed to prevent that and that will be heavy defending until the two minutes are over. So, six minutes left into this uh, first half Molde against Orcas and the Orcas are going into attack mode, losing the ball in a very nice way the, the Molde player went into the pass and now we have a Molde pl um, uh, Orca player coming from the close side into the basket of Molde but there is he's alone right now and now there are the other Orca players are coming in and oh, okay so Jasmine Sh is a man uh, Einstein. I need your assistance uh, on this game probably with the name thank you so we have an attack uh, from the uh, Orcas from the close side and they play the ball quite often and quite quickly and, and Molde has been intercepting some of the passes and Orga has been uh, getting... You see it's this amazing is the kind what of Molde thing. does here. It, it's really amazing the game they do because uh, they have one... Uh, they are missing one player and uh, uh, nevertheless they start an attack which is really dangerous on the Orca basket. They broke free. Let's see if uh, the Orcas can recover the ball and re counter uh, into the area of Molde but this is uh, amazing uh, what we see from Molde here and uh, compared to the game they put in uh, with Rixu that's that's more no Verksund, uh, 51 I don't sorry um, but I'm happy to learn more about him so tell me I know more about from Germany to the south and toward across the Atlantic, not toward Nordic. Probably so we know more about the Orcas than we know about Molde. Yeah, so I'm happy. Tell us, and then everyone else can know. So, about uh, attack is still going on, and I uh, think the two minutes are not over yet, but Molde does a great job. It's amazing how they, uh, how they stay with one player less on top of this game and uh, are in ball possession and putting a lot of pressure on the... Uh, on the game of the Orcas and we are now in uh, in the half of the Orcas in front of the Colombian basket holy moly this is really uh, a tough game three minutes 41 in this game uh, Molde uh, from Norway against uh, the Orcas from Colombia and uh, here we go Our Orcas are in ball possession try, try to break through to the side uh, of Molde and here we have two players from uh, Colombia going into the side in the corner of Molde but they have really a hard time to establish their uh, play so uh, the Orcas uh, cannot use the situation they are in here uh, the the little advantage, or well, it's a big advantage, if he's uh, a very important player to to Molde uh, when he's not in the water. But I think the two minutes, two minutes, yeah, counting down. I think it's 45 seconds left in this penalty time. Ah, okay. So, a ver, qué estamos haciendo, chicos? Vamos um, a ver si pueden mover un poquito más el balón. Molde se ha recuperado muy bien y está, o sea, el, el juego está bien duro. O sea, ninguno de los dos está dominando más todavía. No, I mean, both teams are playing equally hard. There's no domination yeah. from yeah. one of the uh, teams right now so far. So, but nevertheless, um, it's astonishing with a, a penalty time in your team, you you even manage to play stronger than you seem to play when uh, he was. Uh, Duracell uh, Rabbit. Oh, okay. Good to know. So apparently, Jasmine is one of the main attackers of Molde. Did you know that? No, nope, I didn't know. Didn't either. So we're Have happy to, to learn from. Uh, wow, nice passes some of the main players into of the area. Countries. Now we have the Orcas having a counter attack. Molde being into position. I mean, they are really having a great name. I mean, I think it's also the best game we have seen from Molde so far as well. I mean, wow. we, di we didn't see this yesterday, right? Um, yeah, no, we, have, we haven't seen this game from Molde. This is uh, this is Molde, like Bamberg played uh, in the last game. Uh, this is Molde we used to see, but uh, the Orcas do quite a good job to fend them it's off. It's really dangerous for Orcas if one of these Molde players are underneath because they have uh, they are twice as heavy as these guys. So we just need to push themselves 
uh, a bit and then the ball is inside. So they, they need to stop the counterattack. They need to stop the counterattack in the middle of the of the game of the um, field and not let them go through without that impulse and power. Uh, I'm really fascinating, uh, fascinated by the the uh, what Molde puts in the water right here. <laughs> yeah, Molde is playing a lot of his uh, key players. We know that we know of Ever broken his uh, hand. Um, some will told us. So um, this is really amazing. I wouldn't have thought uh, Molly can uh, do the job uh, that it does right here after the game against Rixu. And uh, it's really hard for the Orcas. I thought they had an easier uh, building up their attack. But um, the Molde players are really into the, the, the attack pattern of Orcas and intercepting, interrupting their, their flow. You don't see this in the beginning. We saw a little bit more flow in the in the attack of yeah. uh, uh, the Orcas. So timeout for the first half. The ten minutes already gone. Amazing. I mean, yes. so, uh, the, some of the Norwegians are sharing with us information about Molde, uh, and we know that they are missing these three important players, and we also know that they have quite young players that have incorporated this. So far, we knew. We just don't know the names. Uh, for for us, uh, for me, it's difficult. <laughs> I'm okay with the Germans and everything. It's Scandinavian. It's more complicated. Also, um, uh, the Turkish name. So that's what I'm more uh, familiar with: the Italian, the Spanish, and uh, the Swiss, the Austrians, uh, the Colombians, and. So we can know any everything. So it's important that uh, we can be assisted by people that are closer to uh, these other teams. So right. thank you for the help. Yes, thank you very much. We we um, would never say we know <laughs> everything, and uh, we have insight and a lot of in the underwater rugby in Germany and everywhere. But uh, well, you cannot know you cannot know everything. But you're right. We should know more about best teams in the world. And um, maybe we could, for the next Champions Cup, get more of a summary uh, of the teams. Yeah, normally we ask them to let us but know. We but we never they got information. They never get, uh, give us information. And most of the time when the Euroleague is playing, I'm playing for the league as well, so I cannot watch the game. Um. So it's the same uh, we, we know um, from the Orcas who is playing. And uh, we know... Uh, uh, Camilo Diaz, uh, we know Federico, we know uh, Samuel, um, we, we know a lot of these players and uh, how they are working together. And they are quite a good team here in the water. And déjame decir algo para la gente en español. Bueno, 10 minutos pasaron, se pasó volando el tiempo. Recuerden que tiene que haber un ganador, o sea que si en los próximos 10 minutos no hay un gol, van a haber penaltis. Y la verdad es que la cosa está bastante dura, está bastante empatada. No hay una predominancia de los dos equipos eh, y lo que está haciendo Molde es tratando de romper el juego fluido de Orcas para que no puedan construir el ataque. Saben que Orcas es muy fuerte nadando y moviendo el balón, entonces están interceptando los pases y lo están haciendo con mucha eficacia. Y lo que tiene que hacer Orcas es romper el ataque eh, porque con la, la diferencia de peso corporal que tiene la gente, los, los, los jugadores de molde, que pesan casi el doble de cada jugador de Orca, con un empujón de estos jugadores que venga de venir un, un contraataque, el, el portero vuela. Entonces tienen que frenar las, los contras en el momento que empiezan y tienen que evitar que lleguen abajo de la portería porque eh, esto sería un riesgo bastante importante. Entonces, bueno, a ver qué pasa en los próximos 10 minutos. Yo estoy perdiendo peso, me están saliendo canas. Ok, aquí vamos. Uh, that's the <laughs> second half of uh, the game. Uh, Orcas against uh, Mole. And the Orcas are in ball possession and trying to push through, but they are held by uh, uh, Mole. Stop by Mole. And we're still in the middle of the pool. Orcas are in ball possession and they try to break free try to go through but the four checking of Molde is relentless and it looks like they have uh, 10 people in the water yes I mean they have it feels they like sorry so it feels like it's uh, so far the best game we have seen from Molde I mean this Champions Cup not in general 
Yep. Um, but it it, uh, it is it really amazing. I, I saw the Yorkas trying to build their rhythm, their their waves going through uh, their game, but Molde is in between. It's really disrupting what they do, and you normally don't see uh, Orca players looking for their uh, uh, for someone to pass to. But we have many. I see many situations where the Orcas are under pressure and they are looking for someone they can uh, play the ball to. So it's disrupting what Molde does, and it's quite effective. So we are now in the corner of the close side. Orcas are still in ball possession, and they are coming above the goalkeeper going down we have uh, one two three four five uh, molded players trying to stop this attack from above and now we're on the close side and this is a heavy attack and a heavy defense and uh, molded comes out with ball possession and uh, the orcas stop them in the middle of the pool but not really successful and already Molde is in the corner of the uh, Colombian basket. I, I don't know, I have the feeling that the Orca had a more underwater time when we started the game and right now I see them too much in the surface. Normally you are, I'm used yeah, to see them a lot underwater and yeah. right now uh, and mm, they need to go away from their basket right now. Two of the defense are there, I think they're this is this is they such got the ball and now they're oh, oh, that was that close, was, was counter-attack counter and uh, the Molde goalkeeper almost Dios. wasn't there in time. That's another entrance, uh, another attack from the open side into the basket, but both didn't succeed. <laughs> Very well played by the Molde goalkeeper in the last second, and even the second attack uh, didn't succeed, even though the go the Orca player was in the right that. position. We wow. cannot mirar more. I don't want to watch anymore. Yeah, I mean, this is costing seven me. Seven women. It's I'm seven minutes wind left. Here. <laughs> God. <I> mean <laughs> and now Molde is in the counter attack, and uh, the Orcas. Uh, someone lost a uh, fin there. Even uh, lo losing a fin could be a decisive moment. Now oh, it's uh, a Molde player. He has to swim back, so he they missing them now in the attack. That could be a, a decision maker. They and we go them back. And they're swimming again. Orcas are uh, in the counter attack, and this was a real fast counter attack we saw before. But Molde is also now, I mean, they, it happened the, the one time, but now they're, they're recovering, they're coming into position. Uh, it was Rember doing the counter attack from the Orcas. And now they're going in again, and now on the open side. But uh, uh, it was uh, somewhere they, they he couldn't uh, no, they don't execute. Have much chance by pushing. Oh, that will be a chance from. A uh, yeah, it's, it's in. a goal for Orcas. Wow. There was Samuel, Samuel Gaviria. Uh, Muy bien, chicos. O sea, han hecho. A ver, cuenta. Okay, you see cuenta a little bit. Was goal? Did I count? I'm out blue. Yes, one zero for Orcas. I'm out blue. This is. Uh, Holy moly, I, and you saw and you saw it in the faces of the Molde players, they were just like, no, really? So it, uh, w it was 11. not like a shock, but... Uh, I mean, I'm on shock, I think... Yeah, we, we see it again here. Yeah, it was uh, Samuel, no, it wa was it Samuel? I'm not sure, I think it was Samuel. Wow, okay, uh, we are... Uh, and, and the Molde players look a little bit uh, in awe. Okay, now it's going to get brutal. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's going really... Se va a poner esto un poco más bruto, chicos, porque creo que los chicos de Molde van a poner... Si tienen todavía más y... I wonder uh, if uh, the Orcas are changing their strategy now, going from offensive to, <laughs> to defense. Uh, this is one of the... the, the Wow, definitely one of the highlights here in the in the game. There um, was somewhere five the minutes, there. six minutes left, uh, and, and nothing so is no decided. No, and the Orcas have to now uh, hold that ball and play and not take risk. Continue offensive, continue playing, but they need to put all the energy they have and keep it those big guys away from the basket. Ahora tienen que poner. 
who has the mental strength to go through this game. Uh, these are the moments we thought just a one Orca player not uh, being concentrated, losing the ball to uh, a Molde player. And over here above the um, Colombian basket, we see we ball see uh, outside outside the ball. I think should be free throw yeah, against Orca. Wide free throw. Outside it's a free throw area. against Molde. Free no, throw. it's a free free throw against uh, Orcas. Yeah, it's true, Amanda Barson. Uh, it's yeah, it's Amanda, that's, that's completely right. That's what we say. Everything is open. Everything is possible. One second, one mistake, and, and Molde if can a team score without any problem. If I mean a team really is able to turn that around, it's more there. Pardon me? If a team is able to turn uh, it around against uh, another team like uh, the Orcas, it's more there. Yes, exactly. Definitely. I mean, we. Um, this is four and a half minutes for Molde. It's a lot of time. And uh, if Orcas don't uh, control the ball and don't keep uh, Molde guys away from the basket, then they can be into trouble. Um, we see uh, the Orcas are on the close side of the uh, pool in the of the uh, basket area. Now we and have a, a Molde one player one-on-one one on one against, one on one against uh, the, against the Orca goalkeeper. goalkeeper. The, the, the partner just arrived. I mean, these guys are... This is dangerous. These th are the moments where Molde scores. And this is still four minutes to go, and this can happen. Call from the referees. This is an exciting game for the referees, too, because uh, 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 you don't can't uh, allow mistakes, and the ball was outside uh, the play area. Free throw, tiro libre en contra de los chicos de Orgas. Los chicos tienen que concentrarse, tienen que tener ese controlado ese balón porque Molde es muy, muy peligroso. Molde sabe muy bien lo que hace y no va a perdonar ningún error. Lo hemos vivido todos los años anteriores. Un error y era un gol. Entonces, a ver, concentrados y manteniendo el balón en control y fuera del área de Orgas. Here we go. No está and decidido, the time is ticking. And we have an um, Orca player going in into the defense of uh, uh, the Molde and uh, the Molde is really it's incredible how far they reach into the, the, the game out of the defense and interrupt uh, the, the attack call from the referee uh, outside to the pool er the playing area and it's a free throw for uh, Molde and it's 2 minutes 48 left wow this is uh, This is really exciting. Two uh, minutes and 40. What does it mean? I mean, the winner of this goes where? Let me see. <laughs> this is really crazy here. Outside. <laughs> referee ball. Referee ball. Okay, we didn't couldn't see why. Uh, didn't hear what happened. Um, referee ball. So the ball was outside and they couldn't decide uh, who... Uh, push it outside, ball is in the game, thrown in, so the Orcas have the, the ball and uh, they're going for the half of Molde and uh, fast playing there, but it's, it's uh, too close and in, in this vicinity of uh, the Molde uh, basket, it's almost impossible to keep, to stay free of their attacks, it's really incredible what they are doing, um, amazing and uh <sighs> Referee ball again. They couldn't decide uh, who pushed the ball outside. And it's 1 minute 33. So uh, this is normally what happens. Molde scores in the last seconds. So uh, the we would have uh, a uh, an draw. Now we, now we go all in. The uh, players all of Molde in. coming with everything they have. 1 minute 20. And this is the kind of situation. From the open side, attack from the open Orcas side. Orcas needs to pack this player. It's 1 minute. And they need to, now they need to put all the apnea. No tienen que subir más a la superficie. Tienen que quedar abajo por el último minuto. Uh, esto se está poniendo. Orcas and ball possession, they go forward. And if they can keep it, it's uh, 57 seconds. Still enough time for Molde to do a lot of goals. We saw that happen in the last seconds. It takes them no time to cross the pool and Still to score. But if they can do it now, it's 45 seconds. That's penalty time. That's the time uh, normally a, a goalkeeper is, has to <laughs> stay down um, to, to uh, st hold on a <laughs> penalty. 33 seconds. So it's half a minute. Um, this is really... 
Esto es Come una on, guys. novela de suspenso. 24 seconds. Molly is in... No. What do you see? We are in the middle of the pool. In Still Orcas in ball possession. Hold the ball, hold the ball. Render, 16 render. seconds. Hold the ball. <laughs> Molden is doing a great Ten job, an seconds. amazing job. Um, I guess a it's too seven, late for me that six, my heart is with Colombia, four, but they need to, five, they need to three, hold two, it. One, zero. Colombia wins against Molden. This is history in the making. I have to do some meditational <laughs> breathings now because my heart rate is up to uh, 10,000 beats a second. Uh, felicitaciones a Molde, fue un partido More, increíble. Teams. Los dos merecían ganar. Both teams incredible deserve to game. win because both were great. Uh, they were, I mean, very, very tight. And uh, we have all the people looking here at the back. Uh, that was really, uh, that was amazing. Por favor, uh, 